Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore back again with another hot sauce to review for you guys today. This is another one from Furious Sauces. Just check out that label. Now this one is called the Angry Assassin and this is a habanero hot sauce. All right, now this is made with furious passion in the Shenandoah Valley of Virginia in Harrisonburg, Virginia. Uh, these products were sent to me from James and Gloria and uh, really digging uh, these sauces that I've been reviewing. Check out some of my other reviews that I've done uh, to get a little bit more information about them. But let's go ahead and get into the Angry Assassin. All of their sauces except for the ghost that I, the dragon smoke made with the ghost pepper, that one's rated uh, hot, but all of them are kind of in the medium hot category, so they're really not playing around uh, with these habanero peppers. They're really bringing some heat. This one says, uh, temporarily concealed as your average Joe hot sauce. This furious sauce is guaranteed to sneak up on you. Enjoy this sauce with beef, poultry, eggs, and your favorite meals. Made with furious passion in the Shenandoah Valley, our sauces are sure to be a delicious addition to any of your dishes. Okay, uh, sodium only 25 milligrams. Now here's the ingredients on this one. This this like is very similar to their Dragon Smoke, which is really uh, the two sauces out of the five that they have or that are not sweet, more of the savory. All of the other ones are more sweet style hot sauces. But we start off with water, tomato sauce, uh, onion powder, garlic powder, citric acid, uh, natural flavors, dried bell peppers, habanero peppers, white vinegar, turmeric, spices, salt, and xanthan gum. Now, I really like uh, what they're doing with turmeric, especially. Uh, they're, they're, it really gives their hot sauces a very unique, spicy uh, flavor and aroma that is really, really nice. Now, turmeric is in the ginger family. It's an awesome uh, root and spice that is very, very good for you. And it's really kind of given these sauces kind of a, a woody, floral, gingery type of vibe to them that I really like. And this one has got a nice consistency. This is a, what I would call a you know a tomato based um, hot sauce. It's got the nice red color on there. I love the consistency. It's not not super thick. It's not vinegary thin. Uh, just a very nice uh, pourable hot sauce. Now you can definitely see the uh, the spices in there. All right, let's go ahead and check this out. Now you get that tomato. Um, aroma, rich, savory tomato aroma, onion, garlic type aroma. And once again, just kind of very similar to Dragon Smoke. Uh, it kind of reminds me of a taco sauce, kind of a Southwestern style, you know, basic taco sauce. I don't know if maybe there are the other spices in here in addition to the turmeric, uh, maybe uh, a little bit of cumin. It's not very strong if it is, but maybe there's cumin in here or something like chili powder. But I really like the aroma on this one. Um, you know, very savory, tomatoey, onion, garlic, and that turmeric. Once again, I'm picking up on that. It really gives a nice, um, some nice notes to this. All right, let's show you what this one looks like. This makes a perfect table sauce. All right here we go. Very, very similar to Dragon Smoke, but just not quite at that heat level, but very savory. Once again, kind of tastes like a taco sauce. You get the tomato, the onion, the garlic. It's not vinegary at all. It's not salty at all, but love that spices, love that turmeric that's coming through that gives it a very unique um, type aroma or flavor. And then the habanero heat starts to come on. So once again, you can tell there's habanero peppers in here, uh, just really really good. Now let me show you what I did with this guys. I did this is awesome table sauce uh, and I use a lot of hot sauces for breakfast so this is what I did. I cooked up what you call a breakfast spam bake. There's a picture of it right there with some diced spam, potatoes, uh, onions, uh, sausage and uh, you know with the eggs of course and just kind of uh, you know bake that in the skillet a little bit you know and let it set and it created that uh, where I can slice it up like that and pour this on there and it's just awesome, really, really good. So another winner from Furious Sauces, I'm gonna give this a strong eight out of 10 for flavor. This is really, really good, really liking these sauces. And on heat, I give this one a four out of 10 as well. 
Uh, it's got a pretty good bite to it for habanero, just at a level to where I think a lot of people can enjoy it, but I think a lot of people may think it's a little bit spicy, but uh, perfect you know, amount of heat for me. Uh, so great job on this, James and Gloria. Thank you so much for sending it. Guys, check this company out. Make sure you give them a like on Facebook and visit their store at FuriousSauces.com. Link will be down in the description. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more, and until the next time, enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.